data. This is a British Tier 5 light tank. It has limited armor for the turret as well. And it has high transfer speed, 40, and high turret, tra turn, high turret transfer speed. It, but good, and it has a good viewing range. What makes this different is you have a limited signal range and a limited speed limit. I mean, 40 is very small for this, for a light tank. Also, most light tanks this tier have at least 500 or 600. This is five, four, has 450. That's pretty standard for a medium tank, which is pretty much how you play this tank. I mean, the most you're ever going to see in this tank is tier 7. And most and light tanks go on to tier 9 and, and 8. So how you what you do is you're relying on cover for the, this vehicle. And you go behind bushes, you go behind buildings, land, try to use the land to cover yourself. And you're trying not to be seen. And to help you out. And because it's a light tank, you have a camera rating that's on 100%. So it's it's a little harder to detect this tank. And you could put on a camouflage netting to help with it. Get that even further. The radio, you're going to have the top radio immediately from the cover meter. And suspension. Um, you don't need the top suspension to load the mod. But you'll need it to load the camouflage netting, binoculars, and stuff. The engine. I only reason I only reason I have the lower engine right now because I never researched the top engine. That's because I was researching the Cromwell, and the Cromwell uses the top engine and Crusader as a stock engine. So once you research the Cromwell, this engine becomes available. So you don't need to research this engine. The turret, uh, upgraded turret, you'll need the upgraded turret to load the top gun in, in this machine. The the top turret gives you a good, uh, gives you more armor, and you lose two degrees per second on transfers. But the most important is you get an upgrade of 20 meters on the view range. From 340, you'll get 360. The gun, you'll start off with this gun from the cover meter. And it's okay, you'll get by with it. But then you get this the six sounder Mark III. And it has a 105 penetration. And that'll help even more. And the howitzer, that's a pretty good way to put the gun. Um, it's supposed to be a heat gun, but it can barely, it bounces off practically any frontal armor of a heavy. And then we get to the top gun. And that's the gun I use on it. And it works very well with this tank. It has a 27, 20, uh, 110 penetration and a 75 damage. And that is low, but you get a 27 rate of fire, which means you're just pumping out shots. And one after another. And this 75 damage really adds up. The accuracy is okay. 
2.3 any time. That's good. Put this top again. And I prefer to put uh, bent on it or, or uh, camo net and a binocular. And I run only AP rounds on these things because you have to run heaters better just to leave the area and instead of switching around because you don't have a lot of armor and if you just hang around one place you're going to be dead <laughs> very quickly small repair another small repair kit a first aid kit fire extinguisher most players don't use these on a tier 5 I do because frankly they're available and they've, they've been on sale several times and I just have so many of them and even with all these on here, this, this thing still makes a lot of credit. So, let's go to video. Okay. This is a demonstration of the vehicle. It's to help you demonstrate the cover and uh, popping out and peekaboo. This is on the cliff map. Cliff map is very good. For this vehicle, it provides a lot of vegetation, a lot of rocks, buildings to hide under, hide around. You know. Right now, it's on the bottom part of the map, and it's the base is on the other side, and we're trying to defeat the other side to get to the base. So we're going to the cliff side of the map, where it has more opening. You have more area to sh shoot your gun gun out where to shoot the weapon if this area provides more cl clear view to for the tank so you can aim your gun and it limits the amount of obstructions that are in the area right now we're looking for a tank and we found one we got one He's on fire. Oh, he looked like got him badly too. But you see, this thing's behind a rock. And we're trying to use cover as much as possible. Another one. See, I'm using the scope a lot for this. So I'm trying to get as accurate shots as possible. The reason I'm shooting into the brush is because just because you have camo doesn't mean you're not there. So you can still be killed even if you're not detected.
got it. Got him. There's only a few vehicles left, so pretty, you can pretty much guess that sh it's safe to go out, to go towards base. Because the odds of them finding you are very small. Okay. Okay. Hope this was a good demonstration of the vehicle. And hope see you next time. Let's and I'll bring you another take next time. Thank you for watching.